Glad to have with us today back again our special guests, Pastor Larry and Tiz Huck. I tell you, it is so it's such a blessing to have you guys back and, and be with us, whether you're coming in studio or we're interviewing out somewhere. It's such a blessing. Dr. C and I were saying we we've just got to come out there to Dallas Fort Worth and come and be at the church. Absolutely. We just gotta come. Just come and be family. Yeah, just we're come gonna, and be we're family. Come and be there and we definitely wanna uh, come, especially when you're doing well, I mean, we, we uh, you know, we carry a broadcast on Bodybuilders uh, Television Network, and we were actually, um, this week, well, watching over, we, we carry some of the reruns. You bet. We rerun, and one that we get a lot of calls for is the show that you did for Easter, for Passover, that yeah. blessing month. Yeah. I tell you, I can watch that every day. Oh, that I'm was such you. an anointing on that. Yeah. And that's why I love only the network that we can rebroadcast and re-air. You yeah. cannot watch these one time. No. You can't get it in half. No. That's right. You just no. can't do it. You have to go back. And so I'm not up to date on those that's happening right now. I'm still way back there. I'm yeah. still at Easter. I'm still at that class. I was this morning we were watching and I'm like, I'm still believing. I mean, that month mm. blessing, I'm saying, I'm believing God. I'm still standing in faith for that. And the anointing, there was such an anointing oh, on those broadcasts that it just blessed me. You know, in it, it, we're, we're, we're talking, we're here today to talk about the new book, Releasing Family Blessings, but to tie in what you were talking about, the number one reason for divorce in America, maybe maybe the world, but in America, is financial pressures. Mm -hmm. And Christians have heard for years and years and years about prosperity. But mm -hmm. the reality of it is, why doesn't the prosperity work? Mm -hmm. And the God says in his word, my people destroyed for what reason? Lack of, Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And so, um, one of the things that we learned yeah. in being married and being Christians and being pastors is how do we break that curse of poverty yeah. and release that curse of financial blessing mm -hmm. and what you're talking about and we you know this isn't what we came here to talk about but on on Passover Malachi 3 says return unto me and I'll return unto you they said Lord how do we return and God says, through tithes and offerings. Well, what does that mean? And I'll open the windows of heaven. And so what you're looking on that program is, is three times a year over you, your family, your, your marriage, your home, three times a year, there is a special window mm -hmm. or a special you, you showed mm -hmm. that passes over. If you miss it, you have a 30 day period. If you miss it, it's gone for one whole year. And so, you know, we, we've, we, we wrote years ago, I did it with you, on breaking generational exactly. curses, breaking family curses. Mm -hmm. And so Tiz said, let's get together and write a book together. Our first one we've written yeah. together. Yeah. Let's write a book on releasing family, family blessings. blessings. Yes. Mm -hmm. 35 years of marriage, over 35 years of marriage. All of our kids are serving God. All of our kids are in the ministry. I know I'm 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 tired I'm tired I'm tired of being the eye candy I'm t I'm tired I'm tired of being on here just for my looks. And this is great. It's so funny when you say, "Well, this is what we you know we came here to talk about this." But you know, whenever we get together, it's we love it. It's whatever God says. And I tell people, Absolutely. I was like, "This is you you know we highlight what's there, but we love to be able to hear and speak." And I, we always want to connect and tie yes. these things together and tie these broadcasts and things together because God is speaking. There's so much that's happening within each and every one of them. Releasing family blessings, God's plan for your marriage and your children. And this is exciting because Dr. Chambers and I, um, oh, we're married now. We're married. Really well. I'm married, married now. <laughs> and no, and one of the things that we're we're really been able to look at and see and realize is not just in all. I mean, I believe it's in the body of Christ. I believe it's in churches, but in the African American church. See, we do things well. We know how to do church. And we know how to do marriage. If it's an issue, you're not gonna know it. Right. Yeah. And it's right. issues, right. but you just don't talk right. about it. Exactly. And see, this is, we want to be able to have that platform yeah. to say, yes, you, we've yes. got problems, it's issues, let's bring them yeah. to the forefront. I, I want Tis yeah. to do most of the talking uh, about the book and because it really works. And like you said, 
there's so much, we can be one thing in church, yeah. but we're going through it at home. Right. It's time to break those curses and release these family blessings. Yeah. You know, you talked about the issues that we bring into marriage or that arise in marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I made a statement in the book that issues not dealt with mm -hmm. don't go away. Mm -hmm. They just go underground. Mm -hmm. And so the things that come in our lives, the baggage that we bring in, we have to be able to deal with it in a mature and a Christian way. So we go through the steps of life. I mean, we've been married for 35 years. Wow. We've faced pretty much everything out were, there. Were you guys like five when you got married? Yeah, yeah Did you break on. some kind of laws or something? I mean, you're so young. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good living and a good attitude does bring a good... I'm serious, 35 years? Yes, yeah. over 35, 35 years. Over 35. Wow. And in the ministry that long. Can you imagine? Wow. And we're still smiling. Still yeah. smiling, and it's, it's so funny. But I mean, when you're saying that, and Sister Carol, uh, well, our assistant's here, and we were looking at an interview I had did earlier and, uh, last year with uh, Josh McDowell, and was talking about marriage and things like that, and how you know he was saying sex on there, and I'm like, we Pentecostals, you can't say yeah. sex, <laughs> you just can't say sex, you just don't do that, you know. And we were talking about touching. He's like, you, know, you don't touch because even now you don't see signs of affection and right, embracing right. and, and yeah. touching and if you don't see this among us as believers and Mary, yeah. where are they getting the examples Absolutely. from? Because listen, media, we got some examples for you That's all right. over, and they're yeah. so negative. And if we don't do something to combat it, counteract it, to give a biblical alternative, whether it be in print, yeah. in experience, in television, we have to do something. And like I said, there's there's millions of things out there combating for our time and attention. What we have to do is to make sure yeah. that we have something ourselves to offer. Absolutely. And that's what you have. I mean, releasing family blessings. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, the, there's, we, we take, Tis, Tis said it this way in the last interview. She take I've taken the spiritual and she's taken the practical and we've merged those together to show people how to make their marriage work and, mm -hmm. and it's worked. And if I can give you an example of things that we don't see in the church. Mm -hmm. If I were to say to you or to say to any Christian, when Moses came to Pharaoh and said, let my people go, what did Pharaoh say? And everybody would say, he said, no. Mm -hmm. He said, no, you can't go. But if you look at it, one of the times that Moses came to Pharaoh, he said, let my people go. Pharaoh, it's in Exodus, I think, chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh had said, had gone to his advisors and said, what do we do? And they came back with a plan. Moses comes and says, let my people go. And Pharaoh says, let all the men go and serve God. But leave the women and children. And the strategy of that is, you can go ahead and serve God, but by not taking the women and children together, mm -hmm. we're one generation away from being a godless nation. Mm -hmm. And in Hebrew, it is a strategy that, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, Thing that's going on in Christianity that you got to be willing, whether it's building a church or building a ministry or building a business, for the kingdom of God's yeah. sake, you got to be willing to leave the women and children behind. Right. Mm -hmm. That is false. I have no ministry mm -hmm. except my wife. Amen. I have no ministry yes. except my children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And having those things, you don't sacrifice those exactly. things for the kingdom. You don't have to lose it, mm -hmm. it all mm -hmm. to be successful in the world. You can have it all. And that's where, by the grace of God, we realized this soon enough in our marriage because we got saved and went in the ministry and we were in a group like that. That was the ultimate sacrifice is your family. If you love God, you know, you sacrifice your family. And we operated that way for years until it began to compute out and we realized that's not God. That's well, not the way it's supposed to be. That stigma that you're and supposed to be married to the church? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. And I'm telling you, we turn it around mm -hmm. yeah. and not only turn it around, but reap the rewards of what it is to do, do a family God's way. Because God never intended it to be that way. The family is the foundation mm -hmm. of his system that operates in the world. Mm -hmm. As the family goes, so goes the world. Mm -hmm. And that's why, to a large degree, the world is in such bad shape. Exactly. Because we're self-destructing from the inside out. And there's all these role models that tell us how to do it, but they are destructive patterns. 
So we're trying to bring about a revolution, really, that starts from the home, starts from the inside out, and changes the world one family at a time. And we will bring that joy into the homes, into the families, and raise children that, Larry said, the morals of the world can be overturned in one generation, but that can be reversed in one generation, too. Yeah, absolutely. And we're bringing the kids back to God because they're going to be in homes that they want to serve God. Wow. Listen, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break and come back. And I'm going to lose uh, Pastor Larry. I know he's <laughs> there. And we're talking about the new book, Releasing Family Blessings. I love the scripture. Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You've got to take a stand. You've got to make a commitment to cover and take back your family for God. I'm Dr. Brenna C. Miller, BBTV Today. I'll be right back after this. And we are back, releasing family blessings, joy in following God's plan. One thing that I noticed, and I, I mean, we've known each other for several, several years yeah, now. Yeah, gosh, years. gosh, we're several yeah. years now. But I noticed uh, off camera, you're real. You're, you're, you're real, you're affectionate, you're loving. And, and see, that's the examples that people need to see of leaders, that you're not enduring each other. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. can it, I be it, honest? You, know, you guys aren't doing each other, I, and I love yeah, that about it, you. It's, it's amazing <laughs> that you bring that up because we just did an interview bef before this mm -hmm. here, and that same thing came up. Is um, you, you know our our church is doing very well, our television mm -hmm. is doing very well, our books are doing very well, but you know what we get more than anything else is people say we watch your family and That's we it. see your family. Yeah. Listen, our kids. Tis is my best friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our kids, we all go on vacation together. We all uh, eat together on Friday nights. We all, we all, uh, we do everything together. And the reason is, is that our kids don't see us Sunday morning in the pulpit yeah. being different mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that... Being a Christian doesn't guarantee you're going to have a great home. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't have, guarantee yeah. you're going to have a great marriage. And so this is why Tiz said, let's sit down and write this book and, and not only show you scriptures on how to have a good home, but show people what we've walked through for yes. 35 years, how to make your marriage work, your family work, your children work, your grand sugars work, how to make it work because because we you and I we've all seen too many yeah. who are in the ministry they're mm -hmm. successful mm -hmm. but at home it's a disaster and I love what Tiz said you can have it all and there's nothing there's nothing that brings us more joy than our home and yeah. you know this is a different show but the thing that bothers me is so many people know what's going on and nobody deals with it. Absolutely. And that's another show. You know, but I mean, but we know yeah. they know it's problems in the marriage. But if you're preaching good and you can still bring them bucks in, yeah. come on now, yeah. and you can have good church. I mean, if we can be shouting, hey, we're going to bring it in. It you don't know, matter. Uh, we say it this way. <laughs> we know that what profit man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Here's uh -huh. what I say. What profit the man if he builds a great Absolutely. church or great business and loses his family? Yeah. I look at my son, my daughter, my, my daughters, my grand sugars, our marriage, and we are, we are best of friends. And, and it's not because, because I, and this is why Tiz talked me into writing my part. Listen, I didn't come from a good home. Mm -hmm. I didn't come from a dad who, and, and we can't use that as an excuse yeah. anymore. Exactly, exactly. Can't that's, use no, that that's getting old. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. break the curse mm -hmm. and release the family blessing. And mm -hmm. I had to learn how to be a husband. I had to learn how to be a father. I love that word, learn. Learn. Yes. Come on. That, because, that's, uh -huh. You know, you know, we teach on breaking generational yes. curses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's also the element of breaking generational habits yes. and behaviors. Mm -hmm. Because there's the spiritual Absolutely. root that causes us to act a certain way. Okay, let's get that broken. But then you have to learn how to act right and how to build a family. Uh, you know, Proverbs says that, that, that a foolish woman tears her own house down, mm -hmm. but a wise woman builds it with her own hands. Well, the same is true for a man. The same is true for a couple. You know, we can tear things down so easily and so quickly, but there are easy ways to build something if you learn how to do it. And quite honestly, 
it helps to have a role model mm -hmm. to follow in their Absolutely. footsteps. Absolutely. And so mm -hmm. we've, we've put this out there because we've learned some things and we've wanted to build a bridge for others mm -hmm. to be able to experience what we have, get past the past and get on to the good stuff. And this is good because, gosh, I tell you, we've got to get you back and have more time and talk more. But the main thing is, is like I said, is uh, there's so much that's on television. And some of the things oh. that are on television now, even by people that started out as you're thinking they're believers sure. and you're watching this. Sure. And if you're not careful, they've transitioned into something else. And we were watching something the other day. And Dr. Chema said, don't watch that. He said, he said, actually, he said, listen, you're watching too much of that. And I was just passing by yeah. it. Yeah. And it was a segment. I'm not going to say whose show it was or what, but it was a segment that was on this, this, this show. And uh, it, it was Event. Initially, these programs were, were, you know, spiritually oriented, faith-based, but the female was having a problem with her husband, and she did a very African-American female thing when she got upset with him. She sure. took sure. the wagon, went in the closet, got the clothes. They were going in the front yard. They were yeah. getting ready to be doused yeah. and burned. Yeah. We don't need anything to help contribute to that. You know, no. we need something that says, let's break that. Let's talk. Listen, it, it let, let's, let's, let's go in the kitchen and fix a meal. And, let's not boil the grits to put on him. And that's why it's, <laughs> listen, that's why, it, that's why the word of God, right. the word exactly. of God is not an American thing. The yeah. word of God is exactly. not a European thing. Exactly. The word of God is not a white thing. It's not a black thing. It's not man, a brown wow. thing. Man, mm wow. -hmm. It is not a man thing, a woman thing. The word of God works. Yes. It works. And wow. we've taken the complicated word mm -hmm. of God and broke it down into steps on how to make your marriage work, how to make your family work. And you know what? No more excuses. Yeah. Let's, let's get our families back Amen. under the blessing of the Lord, yes. and it'll work. Amen. This is awesome, and that's what you're saying, releasing family blessings and taking back, and then like you're saying, breaking that curse. I want to read a little bit on the back. It says, in releasing family blessings, be empowered by their insights on God's plan for the family as you discover how to safeguard your marriage, enforce godly discipline in your home, break generational curses and release generational blessings that's why i want to read that because many things mark your family into a model of christ love many examples and a lot of us as i said a lot of them are cultures and different cultures people do different things in their marriage and relationships but listen maybe big mom and mud and them did that you don't have to do that <laughs> now that's you know right. come on, on. Exactly <laughs> this is right. not the way to do this this that's is not right. the way to handle exactly. that you've got that's to right. do it differently exactly. now right. listen you that's have an all it's this you have an alternative you need to go out and get the book where can we find it barnes and noble our website all kinds of different places larryhuckministries.com or newbeginnings.org is our website hey and this is just a plug for the church what you guys coming up got coming up i know in november you always have your women's yeah, conference is in the conference with us and, and, and i keep gonna, saying i'm going to come this year i'm going to try and make we it out actually okay. are changing it this november yes. Tess just asked me about it a couple days ago and we're going to make it a family conference yes. and oh, we're going to cool. go from wednesday through sunday yeah. and I, I don't remember what the dates are but not just for women for, for men women families we're making it a family conference larry's preaching I'm preaching. We're going to change these families. Well, listen, heads up. Then we'll definitely want to be out there. Come Let's on, start yeah. talking. We're talking early. So okay. this is early enough for you. I think these shows air and start airing in September. So you can start making plans Good to deal. come out. Right. Grab the book, and this will be a motivating factor to get you out. I'm Dr. Brennan C. Miller, BBTV Today, and we'll be back after this.